And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Kansas City team and the Baltimore Ravens. With Chesapeake Bay gleaming in the distance, we are inside MT Bay Stadium near the Inner Harbor in Baltimore, Maryland. Today we've got a fun AFC matchup on tap as it'll be the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the Baltimore Ravens. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gardner. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks. Certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you get by for long periods of time without a top flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And off we go from M&T Bank Stadium. And the opening kickoff will not be returned as that will be a touchback. The KC offense set to go, led as always by the gunslinger, a former MVP in this league, it's Patrick Mahomes. And when you think of Patrick Mahomes, you start to think about all of his attributes and you realize very quickly, you can't just put him into one box. No matter how the game proceeds, no matter what is needed, he tends to have an answer for it and plays accordingly. Here's Pacheco to begin the drive. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Mahomes now to throw. That'll be caught by Rice. And he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And now it's third and three. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on, because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. Mahomes looks to throw on third down. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down, and he was able to get it by plenty. A gain of eight on third and three. And that one was a lot of fun right there, because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Looking to throw is Mahomes. That's complete. It's Travis Kelsey. And they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. The end result, 21 yards. Well, the first drive here and the first time that we've called the big tight end's name, but I, I can assure you this, Charles, it, it won't be the last. No, it won't because when he gets going, now it opens up opportunities on the perimeter because that'll draw the defense towards him in the middle of the field. Now your wide receivers are getting involved as this game goes on. On first and ten, here's Pacheco. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. Adafi Owe so quick, and he gets to him there behind the line. They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. Now here's Mahomes. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. I think you put just a little bit too much heat on that one. When you throw it to the outside, you do have to be careful because you got to keep it away from the defender. But you also have to give your own guy a chance, too. The seventh play now of this opening drive. This is third and long, though. Mahomes going to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Yeah, it's still early in the game. No sense taking a chance on third down, forcing one into traffic. So I like the wise play he made there. Get it to the sideline out of bounds where no one's going to have a chance at him. Fourth down, so Kansas City sends out Tommy Townsend. 
And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. The Ravens offense going to work, and as usual, it's Lamar Jackson, the former MVP of the league at the helm. And he remains the league's premier rushing threat and one of the biggest playmakers among quarterbacks. His goal each and every season, continue to expand his game as a passer and become well-rounded. All those highlight reel plays you see, they come off the fact that he can run it, throw it, and scares defenses every time he takes a snap. On first and 10, it's Jackson. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Got to a fine line when you're setting up the screen. You don't want to throw it too early and have the defense react too quickly. And you definitely don't want to throw it too late. And that way it's not formed perfectly. Got to make sure you hit it just right. They go play action with Jackson. That's caught. It's flows. Take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A game there of 30 big ones. Despite writing it down on my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line, and we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop, and that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellas up front. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. First carry now for Gus Edwards. And he picks up about six as he gets this down to the 41. A quick burst there and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. From the 41, here's a second down and four. Jackson now. The connection here with Nelson Aguilar. And a quick slam, good for eight and a first. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there, keeps the sticks moving. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Jackson. And that is incomplete. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. Second and ten. Jackson going to give this one to Edwards. Down to the 30 after a gain of three. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? On third down, Jackson. They set up the screen to Hill. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 18. 12 yards to pick up there, good for a Raven first. And when you're throwing the ball downfield really well like they have been on this drive, it's really a nice time to work one of the screen plays in. One of my favorite play callers in the game has always told me he starts every game with 10 to 12 screens because if he starts feeling the pressure from the defense, he uses their aggressiveness against them. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the gun, they go to Edwards. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. They'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Second down and four. They run for the first time with Justice Hill. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. It's a 10-yard gain there to set him up first and goal. That's a very nice game there. Confidence-building run. Love the execution up front. And the way he pressed the hole, absolutely perfect. Here we go now on first and goal. Edwards trying to get to the goal line, but he's going to be stopped just short at the one. 
Only a yard that time, second and goal. Good work there, holding them out on first down, and this is going to be a battle down here on the goal line. Can they hold their ground for two, maybe even three more plays? And now Jackson will look to throw it. Got a man, it's caught for a Ravens touchdown. Isaiah Likely, a one-yard touchdown reception. And the Ravens are on the board first here this afternoon. An ideal start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turned into his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Force the punt, go downfield and score. I told you guys, it's just like a boxer in the gym preparing for the fight. Now we get to turn it all loose. Justin Tucker for the extra point. And the Ravens lead it 7-0. So that one a long 11-play drive. And finishing that drive off was the touchdown grab by Isaiah Likely. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And they got to be pleased with this. He brings it all the way up to the 40-yard line. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. On first down, Mahomes. Throw left side, completion to Rice. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. And the officials here are going to pause the game for a second. Looks like there's an injured chief on the field. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. So the big play has him all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. Now Mahomes will get this complete to Kadarius Tony. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. It's a gain of nine. Brings up second and a yard at the 21 yard line. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. They've got it with a second and one coming up. Throwing now is Mahomes. Who finds his receiver, Watson? And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 12-yard line. Give him 10 yards on that one, and that earns him a fresh set of downs. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Here's Mahomes to throw. Open on the left side. This is Valdez Scantling. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Brings up second and two at the Ravens' three-yard line. Here's second and two now from the three. Headed straight, it's Pacheco. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. And some extra bulk on that line for third and inches. They'll try for the first with Pacheco. Trying to barrel up in there, but I don't think he got it. They'll be marked inches short. No gain on the play, and that's going to lead him to fourth down. 
Remember, that was less than a yard. That was not a full yard. That defense, they were having none of it. Yeah, the surge offensive line was seeking actually occurred on the other side of the ball. They reestablished the line of scrimmage and stuffed them. They'll run for it with Pacheco. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. They only needed a few inches, and they didn't get much more than that, but by about the width of a shoelace, they convert on fourth down. Pacheco. Diving for the end zone, and he is in. Touchdown. And Charles, he's able to dive in there in a short yardage situation. Just find a place to get to the end zone. Didn't matter where it was, but once he did, used his nose for the end zone and dove in. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So that drive goes eight plays, and it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. And Hill will opt for the touchback. Baltimore is set to take over here for their second possession of the game. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And, partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. And because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. And yeah, boy, it's tough to bring him down that time. He surges forward. He's going to get a full six out of that. Second down. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. They run once more with Edwards. And just not a big enough hole to break this one. He gets it to the 35 after showcasing that tough running of his. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. And he's going to have a Ravens first down. His good running gets him to about the 44. We all love to have a home run hitter in the backfield. Guy can take it the distance. But a short yardage, trying to pick up first downs. That big guy, always a nice luxury to have, isn't he? Edwards now on first and 10. Now he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. 56 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. They had a chance to limit his yardage, but he was able to fight off that tackle. So it's not just the responsibility of the guys who missed the tackles along the way. It's all 11 on defense, able to stop this guy, unable to do it on that play. They've got to find a way. How about his ability to break through and gain that yardage? So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 35-yard line. Up the middle, it's Edwards. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old-school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense? Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. Here's Jackson. And, oh, it's incomplete. Oh, that would have been six points, but somehow he couldn't rein it in. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up, converged on his man, and broke the play up. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. They'll go back to Edwards on first down. 
They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. Setting up the screen here to Edwards. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. So the screen good for only two. Now it's third down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Jackson looking to throw on third. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's Hill. And the Ravens are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. Now it's Jackson. And he's going to go down, sacked right around the 17. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. Jackson to the goal line, but it's incomplete. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. Third and goal, Jackson. And this is caught. Touchdown, Baltimore. Isaiah Likely, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Ravens will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. So that really an almost perfect drive as they chew up some clock and wind up scoring late in this first half. And remember, they've got a chance to double dip here because they're going to get the ball first to start the third quarter. So they potentially could go up two scores before the other guys get a chance to do anything. Now Tucker to add the PAT. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So that drive spans 13 plays. And finishing that drive off was the touchdown grab by Isaiah Likely. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Chiefs going to go back on offense one final time in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Mahomes now on first down. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Roquan Smith. He's to the 15. And he will bring this back. It's a pick six and a Raven touchdown. An excellent play there, CD, on the pick six. And I think they, were they a nickel? Did they have an extra DB out there? Yeah, Brandon, I think they were in standard nickel, not the uh, Buffalo, as teams like to call it, meaning three safeties for big nickel. They just wanted to take away the quarterback's throwing lanes, and that's exactly what they did and came through with a big-time pick six. Tucker now to add the point after. It's good, and it is now 21-7. to So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six.
maybe time for one play on offense. Seven seconds to go in the half as the kick is away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And with Mahomes under center, anything's possible. Watch out for the deep ball. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And we're going to get a timeout. With two seconds remaining in the second quarter, maybe a good spot to take a shot. here, second and a yard from the 34. Final shot before the half from Mahomes. And a little floater there is incomplete. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw a terrific first half from the dual-threat quarterback, Lamar Jackson. He fired his guys into the lead with two first-half touchdown passes as they were looking like a well-oiled machine in the first half of play. Both teams going back to their game plans, making their final halftime adjustments. And for the call of the second half, we go back up to Baltimore and rejoin Brandon and Charles. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. The Ravens ready to receive it, and they've got the lead as well as we resume play in the second half. Hill going to think better of bringing this one out, and the drive will start at the 25. Out come the Ravens now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in this second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I'd keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Again, it's Edwards. He gets away from one. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 92 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. He had a really solid first half running the football and picking up where he left off here in the third quarter. How about the yardage he's piling up right now? This feels like a full game, not just this series that we're watching right now. I know people are screaming, where are the adjustments from halftime on the defensive side of the ball? Sometimes they're just not there. Sometimes you just have to find a way to tackle someone. A little bit of daylight on that first down run sets him up nicely. Eight yards on the carry. Yeah, another good run there. He's been such a big part of their success here this afternoon. And that last carry, it puts him over 100 yards now for the day. On second down, it's Edwards. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL, and he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time, so make sure you get in shape. They'll try and run for it. Here's Hill. And he's going to have the first down at about the 48. It goes as a gain of nine, and it moves the chains. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking in the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive going right here. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Up the middle, here's Edwards. He'll be hit down at the 33. Five yards on the play. They're pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves and start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. On second down, Jackson. It's caught by Edward. Trucks over it. 
And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. You have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Now a handoff, Edwards. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. That time they're able to bottle him up, but he's having a really nice game. I agree with that. Let's just go big picture, right? Every back that's in the Hall of Fame had carries where they didn't gain yardage or they lost yardage, but you stick with them, don't you? When they're having a good game, keep feeding them. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Throwing is Jackson. And incomplete. They tried to drop it off, but he couldn't hold on. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air and defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. So Jackson will head to the Ravens' sideline, and on comes Justin Tucker for the field goal try. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. Tucker's kick is good, and they will open things up a bit more. It's 24-7. And they picked up right where they left off in the first half. First drive after the break, they come away with three and increase that lead. Yeah, and you just want to keep building on that lead, don't you? Whether it's six points or three points, take everything you can get, keep maneuvering, keep adding to it, keep making it difficult for them to come back. And we see James, he will now return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Short throw hauled in by Kelsey. Breaks through the contact. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. 16 more on that one and another first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Another attempt, another incompletion, and when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long gain or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points, and the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. Meanwhile, Mahomes throw here complete to Kelsey. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. It's a gain of 34. Obviously, they're not where they want to be right now on the scoreboard. Big plays like that, though, that'll trend them in the right direction. Yeah, a few more like that, they'll be right back in the game. And if they can continue to do that, maybe they'll inspire their defense as well. They'll get a few stops. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Now here's Mahomes. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. I like his awareness of the pocket there. Nowhere to go with the football. So instead of forcing it to the sideline, he's just going to put this one into the harbor and live to fight another down without getting wet. 
They'll go again here from the 10-yard line on second and goal. Mahomes now to throw. He'll be hit and taken down at the 21. Justin Matabike working his way to the quarterback that time. So a little extra time to ponder this third and goal as we play three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Baltimore. It's the Chiefs with a football butt with work to do on the scoreboard. They trail as we start quarter number four. Here's Mahomes, third and goal. Oh, and that is incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Now Mahomes, got to have this one. Open man right side is Tony. And he will be out of bounds, well shy of the marker. So that's a turnover on downs. Great job defensively. Well, their first fourth down attempt earlier was successful. This one backfires for a turnover on downs. I like their aggressiveness. I like what they're doing. They got it the first time they went for it. Why not a second time? I don't think they'll be daunted from attempting it again. If you're on the defensive side of the ball, though, any fourth down stop is a big momentum play. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 from back at their own 10-yard line. In motion left here, one of their tight ends. The drive starts with a carry by Edwards. He finds some way to turn this into positive yardage as he struggles forward for a pickup of about two. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that game. And he'll get this one up to about his 14. Just a couple on the ground there, and that's going to bring up third and about six. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world. Taking it right down Broadway. Rashad Bateman. And he's going to be out of bounds all the way down at the two. So close. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Oh, man, disappointment that he couldn't finish that off in the end zone. What an effort there, doing all he can to get to the pylon, and he's going to wind up out of bounds just short. But a huge play there, going to set him up with first and goal from very short range. So that's about as long a non-scoring play as you're going to see from inside their own 10 to first and goal. They'll run here with Edwards. And no signal yet. I don't think he got in. He didn't. They'll mark him at the run. No gain on the play, and it's going to be second and goal. So stuffed from the two, now what? You know me pretty well. What do you think I want here? Play action? Definitely. Let him get outside and create. And if he has to run it, he has a little bit more space. On second down, here's Jackson. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Brandon, some of those windows that throw the football that exist when you're between the 20s, they don't exist when you're this close to the goal line. But as a former DB, I liked it closer to the goal line. Tighter windows made it easier to cover people, actually. And I can't imagine we'd see another throw here. Third and goal from the one. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Trent McDuffie with a pick. And the Chiefs are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. So a good drive with a bad ending, Charles. They move it down the field well. Cannot finish it off, though, as it's intercepted in the end zone. Deflating, that has got to be the word here because they were sharp in moving it down the field. But sometimes you start thinking like a touchdown is a given. And it doesn't always work out that way as we saw there. KC's offense ready to take over. The interception was a good starting point, but still a huge hill to climb with his three-score deficit and time fading. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10. 
at their own 20-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. To Valdez Scantling over the middle. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Mahomes going to throw. That ball caught. It's Rice. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 45-yard line. Now Mahomes. That'll be caught by Rice. That'll go for a gain of seven. And that'll bring up second down. Mahomes to throw once more. That one caught by Rice. That catch puts him over 70 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. To throw, it's Mahomes. Now a swing pass, it's Edwards Alaire. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. On second down, here's Mahomes. And his throw incomplete. And the defender all over at that time, and it's going to lead to third down. Well, it just seems like all game long, there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked. Under pressure, and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. Justin Matabike in there to take him down on what will take us to the two-minute warning. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They come up on a fourth down situation with things not looking particularly rosy. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Ravens are going to get the football back. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their 36-yard line. They'll run with Edwards here to begin the drive. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. Didn't get to the sticks, but that's an ideal carry there on first down, isn't it? I mean, now you're second and one. Although, you know, in the NFL, even if you picked up the first down, I don't think it's a big difference because the clock doesn't stop. Yeah, not like college. Right, if it's college football, you want to make second and one is probably better than picking up the first down because in college football, the clock stops with every first down and actually aids the defense in that situation. Four yards, the pickup, first down. Again, idea. Let's skip racing to the airport at the end of this game. Let's go to the post-game press conference. I have a feeling that the quarterback of this winning team is going to be giving a whole lot of credit to the running game and the offensive line. Yeah, I was just going to say the offensive line, yes, carrying the ball has been key, but those guys up front, they've made a lot of space. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Jackson going to give this one to Edwards. It's a four-yard pickup there, and it leaves him with third and five. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. On third down, here's Edwards. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it's going to leave him with a fourth down. So the final seconds tick away in this Baltimore victory. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shot. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I mean, what a second half the achievement. 
adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did. And you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just you know, focus on what they plan to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Ravens are victorious here as we say so long from Baltimore.